Hello, thanks so much for clicking on my video. This sweatshirt looks really gnarly, but it's really comfy, so I'm gonna keep it on. Today, I have a small stack of photo cards to store, but I have a bunch of baseball cards to put away, and I know you wanna see that. And I am going to film my collection tour today, probably. So I really wanna put these cards away before I film my collection tour, and I'm going to do that very soon. So this is just gonna be a short little video, but I know you wanna see my baseball card collection. Like I really know you wanna see it. Most of the stuff today I have is Lucemble. I'm actually completing debut today. Thank you so much to my two mutuals who traded slash sent these cards to me. I love you, 2002 Hustle and Souvenirs. I'm so excited to store these away. <laughs> I also, let me show you this first. I kind of decided how I'm gonna collect um, the recent non Lucemble Luna stuff. I have my little setup for three E's cards here. And then I think I just want all of the clear cards from doll so i'm gonna collect those anyways on to this i have this final wish version head to card i have this vivi which i do love this card this is my favorite from the set i just wish that she didn't take all of her cards against a gray wall because like everybody else's are really colorful but she's in the middle, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> then the last card I was missing is this Go On Space version. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, flip through. I love collecting Lucemble. Genuinely one of my favorite groups to collect ever. I find their cards pretty easy to get a hold of. I also just think they're so cute. Like some of the cutest cards ever. I love them so much. Okay, let's move on to uh, one of a kind. I have a couple cards. I have the Yojin for this version. The next card I have is this Yojin. All of these one of a kind cards too were also from one of my Instagram mutuals. So big ups. I think this is this set. I actually don't know, but I'm going to put her here. It's definitely not that one. And then I also have this unit. This is like one of my favorite units for this whole era. I think it's so cute. I love these unit cards. They're like so beautiful. I can't wait to have my hands on all of them. And then for... Oh, I'm completing Go On for this version already. So perfect. Okay, well, that is all for album cards today. I did reorganize my non-album section a little. I decided that I wanted their USA debut ceremony VIP set because I already have the regular set. So someone sold me these. Thank you so much. And then I also want their fan club kit. I think I have the other three on the way but I don't really know. And then everything else is just kind of in chronological order. Back here for my like OT5 non-album. They're so cute. I originally wasn't going to get this set because I thought they would be hard to find and they were kind of hard to find, but yeah, you know, Instagram mutuals really have helped out with my collection so much, especially recently, so. Thank you again. I feel like I've said that a lot this video, but I really mean it. And this page is complete. Oh, it's so cute. You can't really see the back. Can you see it now? The purple and the black. So cute. And seeing them on this concert was what made me like go fully clue. Maybe you remember the video I made right directly after the concert where I was like completely obsessed. Yeah, that's what this debut ceremony really started it for me, so. I love being a Clue. I'm replaying Nosha right now, and every time I get the role of Crew, I think of uh, Lucemble. 
so yeah okay that's all for this binder that's what most of it was for today i do have a couple of on and off cards and one single xh card before we get into the baseball my single jungsoo card is this live lock album card and i think it's the last one yeah it is this is awesome <laughs> Mm hmm yeah that looks so good oh my god i'm really happy with this collection i'm excited to keep working on it because they release stuff oh they are releasing a lot of stuff right now so okay literally one card for this binder i have three on and off cards so that will also be really quick they are both my name cards i have the last ishin for this set okay that rocks Beautiful. And then I have one Minkin for this version. I'm gonna put it in the middle for now. I don't remember. Okay, that was all for this first on and off binder. And then this next card I have, I actually am really excited about because it completes my set of Digipack cards. I also made some different dividers for this binder. I can't decide if I want to do it for the whole collection, but after the storage of on and off, I put this, or I made this page for Love Effect, right? And then I made another one for Beautiful Shadow. So I don't know if I'm going to keep these. I kind of like them, but I also really like just the white like binder and paper, so... This is so exciting. <laughs> okay, love, this is so cute. At least one version of the album is complete, so love to see it. Okay, now my baseball cards. I set up this binder and I made this collage out of the instructions for my Kuga, this Kuga. I made the this one, not the silver one. Anyways, you don't care. This binder has my baseball photo cards in it, like these guys. I also have a section set up for my baseball cards next, which I'll show you, but then I also have my common writer Kuga trading cards. I will just flip through these quickly. I don't really know much about these aside from the fact that they exist. They were released in 2000 alongside of the show. I think they're all made by the same manufacturer. Yeah, wait. Yeah, they are. They're all made by Amada. And these are all the ones I have. So we love that. I have another postcard to put back here too. I was cleaning out my binder of cards that I haven't gotten rid of yet, like sold, but I don't consider part of my collection. That's where I keep my entire Stray Kids Swingman collection. Maybe you remember, I altered him very hard. So I have all of his cards still. And I have this, baseball. So he's gonna go back here with Yuto. Cute, anyways, back to this section. I do have a couple cards for this page actually. I have this, which was sent to me by another Instagram mutual. I think this is an end yeah this is an nct card of shotaro and he's on a baseball diamond in a baseball uniform so cute and then when i was going through that collection i found that i still had these i actually do have quite a few of these polaroids left but this was the only one with a baseball bat in it and i think these are pobs i don't know i was an extremely thorough stray kids collector from like 2020 to 2021 and I have a ton of rare stuff from that time. I didn't realize how much I still, well, I guess I did realize how much I still had, but I didn't realize like the volume at which I collected him. Cause I collected him very thoroughly. I think I have almost all of these polas from this photo book, but I just pulled these out cause they are baseball themed. And they're so cute. I was thinking too of trying to make these a little bit more like deco 
pages. You know what I mean? Because I got these sticky notes. Let me go grab them, actually. I've had these cinema roll, like, baseball memo pads for kind of a while now, but I bought these yesterday. These, like, <laughs> sticky notes. So... I could make fillers or like, you know, just stick these onto fillers and I think it would make these pages kind of cuter because they don't look bad now, but you know, I could experiment a little. Anyways, let's put away my baseball cards. If you don't keep up with me on other social media platforms, you might not know that I love the White Sox. You might know that actually, I feel like I talk about them, but I recently have become very obsessed with one White Sox player in particular. I think he is really good, and I think he is the future of the team, quite frankly, and that is Corey Lee. I do not play about Corey Lee. <laughs> is he, like, objectively the best player on the White Sox? No, but do I think he's the best player? Yes. So, I bought a lot of cards. This is my stack. It's not all Corey Lee, but this is what isn't and what is. I really like the cards from the Topps Chrome set from last year, so I thought it would be cute to try and fill a nine pocket page, so that's exactly what I did. Look how colorful these are. These are all of my like rare ones, so the numbered ones, and these are just the base cards. These look the same, maybe you can tell, but this one has rainbow foil and this one's just like the silver foil, and this one's, I don't know, they all have names as to like what the refractor is. I don't really know it that deep, but I'm gonna put these three in the middle cause they all look kind of similar and they're like unnumbered. So they kind of fit. And then maybe you can see on camera, these all have a number on the bottom and I'm gonna store them in order of like most rare to least rare. The most rare one I have is out of 75. It's this one. Again, they all have names. If you really are curious about the like distinct name of the foil or like hollow that's on each of these cards, I do know it and can look it up for you, just not like off the top of my head. So if you're into baseball cards, let me know. This one's out of 99 and I do like green. So that's cute. This one is out of a hundred. These have the same like baseball players in the background. I don't know. <laughs> This one is actually my favorite because this is so cute. Like, this is what K-pop hollow should be. Anyways, this one's out of 150. This one I also think is so cute with, like, the, I don't know, speckle? I think that's what they call this one. This one's out of 199, and this one's out of 490, but it's, like, the Topps logo hollow. So welcome to the first complete Corey Lee page. <laughs> there are other sets that I really like that I want to collect cards for. One of them being last year's just regular tops set. The Photoshop job is crazy because like, how do they do that? Any whatever, <laughs> anyways. These are all autographed. I think this is the only one that's numbered though. Yeah, this is the only one that's numbered. This is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life purple rainbow glitter like come on i'm gonna put the white Sox ones in the middle he was traded in the middle of the season last year from the astros to the white Sox, so that's why these are obviously different teams and like each card has a different number so like the numbered card in the set is how you kind of identify them so this is like number 79 these are ra and ac so that's how these are like identified. I'm kind of organizing them by that, but I'm also just kind of organizing them by how I want to. Then we have these, these are actually the best. I love these heritage cards. This is last year's and this is this year's. This picture is very cursed, but the last year's picture is cute. And this one's signed. Like last year's heritage card was 719 for him. This year is 224, I guess. But there's a lot of, like, as you could see with the first set, they do a lot of, like, cute color variations to distinguish, like, the rarity of the cards. And I really like that. Like, yeah, I like the potential for, you know, getting some really freaking cute cards. 
The last two pages I have set up for him are miscellaneous White Sox and Astros card. I have this Astros card, which is also signed. This is from last year. Yeah, 2023. Okay, that is all for the Corey Lee pages. Then we have just all my White Sox cards, which I'll be putting back here. This one was also <laughs> sent in a trade from my friend Ollie. I, I love this card. <laughs> This player doesn't play on the White Sox anymore, but he plays on the Pirates. That's my dad's favorite team, so I keep up with them pretty regularly. And I love Yasmani. These cards I'm just going to store in like chronological order from when the set came out. And then these two are obviously from the same set. This Hollow Andrew Vaughn, come on. So cute. But I'm going to put the Luis card first because his number is lower. And that's my baseball collection. Um, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Corey Lee fans up. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Go White Sox. Smart.